heading to Hennett Family Winery. It's located just off of Interstate 95 at exit 98 in North Carolina. They're affiliated with Harvest Host. They offer free overnight in half a mile. Take RV exit 98 parking. toward Pine Level Selma Road. They're getting off on the exit 98. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Pine Level Selma Road. It's our first time here, so let's find out how to get there. Vineyards and Winery in North Carolina. They're affiliated with the Harvest Host program and we're parking for free overnight at their winery. Let's go check it out. Well, we got our rig set up. Milo's inside chilling out. Here comes Melody. We'll check the grounds out a little bit later. We arrived early afternoon, and the tasting room is right in there. They have plenty of room for RV parking in this field right here. You won't get your rig completely level, but uh, we did the best we could. And they also place people in what they call the small yard. That's that semicircle. Um, that's just off of the paved area. I guess they have a couple people coming in there tonight. I'll give you some additional photographs and clips from tonight in the tasting rooms up there. Okay. Let's go partake in some wine tasting.
Okay, well, we just finished up in Hennett Family Wineries. We did the wine tasting. Uh, each of us did a wine tasting. Um, you get to keep your glass with a, with a, you know, the paid wine tasting. We did buy uh, one of the wines. It's called Electric Pelican, and it was our favorite wine out of all the wines. Uh, it was actually the, the, what? bartender's choice that's the one she selected that's that's what we wound up buying because we liked it so much and then they had uh, a bunch of other stuff in the store um, we already had cheese and crackers but uh, we didn't have any salami so we did get a salami and so that was fun this is our first uh, harvest host we've had the membership uh, just about a year and we were going to stay at one in Texas, and because of COVID, that didn't work out. But we're on our way home to West Virginia. We're passing through North Carolina, the Hennett family uh, uh, vineyard is right off of Interstate 95, um, and it was a real convenient stop. This was fun. This was a fun, and we don't have to drive after the wine tasting. So we're going to kind of chill, just relax for the night. Tomorrow morning, we head to Virginia. Oh, they had pina colada in there. That's what my Melody is drinking right now. Pina colada slushy. Oh, pina colada slushy. Okay. Anyhow, that's what Melody's drinking. So that was fun. I uh, made the reservation. I called and talked to uh, a young lady here two months ago, 60 days in advance, and uh, she wrote us down in the book. I called the day before we arrived yesterday and confirmed that they had a spot for us. And uh, we really enjoyed the wine test tasting. That's our setup for the night. You can see my solar on top of the rig there. Um, even on a cloudy day, it's bringing in 14 amps. Not bad. Um, so we're just chilling out. We're going to continue on. We're on the last leg of our snowbird trip for 2020 to 2021. Going to another thousand trails park in Virginia tomorrow morning. That's our last stop before we return home to wild, wonderful West Virginia. I'll chime back in the morning, let you know how the evening went. And uh, like uh, the lady said, there's supposed to be a couple more folks coming in and parking right in there in that little semicircle, that green spot right there. They call it the, the small field. See you in the morning. Not too long after we arrived, several more RVs pulled in. They're in there taking their turn at the wine tasting. Well, this weather's crazy. After we had dinner, finished our wine tasting the sun came out it is a pretty vineyard yeah a lot better with a little sunshine and there are those two RVs that pulled in I want to show you the vineyard that's behind me well, back there's my rig in the RV parking area and then the wine tasting uh, building is just beyond where my rig is and uh, in here are just some of the vineyards this is being filmed in mid-april uh, melody and i ended up producing quite a few videos during our snowbird adventure for 2020-2021 so it'll probably be June or July before you see this video but uh, still a lot of green for mid-April on these uh, vineyards well worth a stop and uh, I think this is going to turn out to be a uh, a good night tonight the traffic, this is like a 
secondary road out in front, so there shouldn't be too much traffic on this road at night. I'll give you a report back in the morning, close the video out. I'm walking back, you see my solar panels on top of my fifth wheel there. The total of four solar panels up there. Let's go check in with the voltage control center and uh, see how many amps it's pulling in with the sun. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be the meter for my charge controller. I like how they installed this charge controller for me. It discounts solar in Phoenix, or not Phoenix, but uh, Quartzsite, Arizona. So, this tells me my batteries are at 14.6, which means my batteries are full. And so it's only letting in 4.9, now 5.2 amps. I'm probably drawing close to 20 amp, but you can't see that because that green light's blinking fast and that means it's only gonna let a little bit of charge in because the batteries are at full capacity. Not bad for boondocking. Well, good morning, folks. We just had our first cup of coffee after spending a night here at Hennant Family Vineyard and Winery. Those two RVs have pulled in yesterday afternoon after we did. We're still over there. Winery's pretty quiet. We had a good night's sleep. There's a you can hear a train off in the distance, but uh, it doesn't come through that often. Uh, Melody really enjoyed the wine tasting, so did I. We had fun, that's what counts. Um, we're gonna be hitting the road. There's a Flying J right up the road, so we're gonna stop there and get some breakfast sandwiches this morning. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.